ora and welcome to Chapter 7. In this tutorial, we will learn more about frames and images. Previously, we have learned how to insert an image into a frame and how to deal with them. In this chapter, we will show you a couple of tricks on how to quickly fit your image into the frame. Firstly, let's select a frame. Now let's insert an image into it. You can do so by pressing on Ctrl D or go to File, Place. Find the image you want to insert and press Open. Notice that the image is a lot bigger than the frame it is contained within. If you want to know the image size, select the Direct Selection tool, white arrow, and click on your image. Now we will need to zoom out a little bit to see how big the image is compared to the frame. You could just scale the image by clicking and holding the bottom right corner without forgetting to hold down the shift key to keep the proportions. Once you have scaled the image down, zoom in to do the fine tuning and your picture has been placed. We will now learn a couple of tricks using the control bar to simplify these actions. Let's go back to our empty frame. Now we will insert the image again. Select the Selection tool. Ensure the frame is selected as well and press Ctrl D or go to File, Place and choose the image you need. Press Open. Once again, the image is now inserted into the frame. Now select the Direct Selection tool represented by the white arrow. We will take a closer look at some of these options in this section of the control bar. The first one is Fill Frame Proportionally, which we fill the frame proportionally with the selected image. As you can see, your image is already perfectly resized to fill the frame, but it is not centered. Let's move to the end of these options and click on Center Content. And your image is now not only fitted into the frame, but also centered. Of course, it may still need a little bit of fine tuning. In this case, we should move the picture to the left and ensure the face is centered in the frame. With a couple of clicks, your image is resized and positioned into the frame. Well done! You have finished the full set of tutorials. Now you should have a better understanding of how InDesign works. Creating your next project should be easier. To ensure your skills stay fresh, please review these tutorials as much as you like. Thank you for watching and good luck with your next project.